Hello, like-minded people. Welcome to my channel. I want you to feel at home, to feel comfortable here. Please remember to hit the like button when you come in. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment and tell a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend. And please come back. You're always welcome. Thank you. Good people, and how are you? Welcome to Passionately Intrigued Arts, and I am Tracy, in case you didn't know. Today's video, I am working on some clocks. I got some clocks from Walmart, the mainstay clocks, and I've done a few, um, I'm doing, doing uh, sports teams. And so, um, I know October is almost over, but I, I've done, let me show you this one, Lions and Pink and ta tackle breast cancer. So I got that one done and thought about doing some others. Um, now I'm gonna work on the Cowboys. I don't know if I'm doing breast cancer. Yeah, 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 I think it does have something to do with breast cancer and a few others. But I just wanna show you the process that I'm doing to uh, create these clocks. So hold on and I welcome you, welcome you to my abode. Thank you for being here. But hold on, I'll take this camera down so we can get started. Okay, start out this clock here, which the measurement on the inside is 7.2, a 7.2 circumference for the circle. You uh, turn your clock over and take the screws out. It has six screws to take your clock apart. Take it out, and then when you turn it over, you remove the hands gently so that you don't bend them. And I just put them back together the way they're supposed to be until I put this whole clock back together. And so I printed an image um, and I started working on it. And it is cowboys. But this is for, it has heels on it. It's for a female in pink. And so it's representing, uh, this one is also rep representing uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I peeled back, this is sticky paper, sticker paper a glossy sticker paper. And so I peeled back the backing a little bit and started up here at the top, put a little bit down, lined it up so that the 12 is right here in the center. And then I'm just using this burnishing tool to go slowly to put this sticker paper down. I cut the center out where the hands will go, just made a small slit and then a couple other slits to put that around this uh, hardware right here. And, and you don't have to use sticker paper. You can use uh, uh, cardstock, um, glossy paper. I just wanted mine to stick down. You, do, you don't have to. You can, you can use an adhesive to stick it down uh, with whatever paper you decide to use. So I'm just... Uh, to get the air bubbles out, you know, I'm just doing a little bit at a time. I don't want lumps and bumps up under here. So I'm just burnishing it with this tool a little bit at a time to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles. Now I printed this on my inkjet printer. And what I want to do before I get started is that if you put some type of medium on top of this, um, be it epoxy, um, Mod Podge, whatever, it enhances the colors and brings them out. So I'm going to use, I believe, some Mod Podge this time. There's a vast array of items, products that you can use to lift the color out. Like I said, I'm going to use Mod Podge. And uh, what I just have on hand available right now in my work area is this. Uh, it's fabric. It doesn't matter what type of Mod Podge you use. I don't want to go look for anything else right now. So I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to take it right. Well, I'm going to put a little bit in the cap. No, I'm not. I'm going to use it right from here. Nope, this is a little thick. Let's see, let me just do a little piece. Oh, it's okay, I'm gonna use this. 
I'm just going to do a little bit at a time just to coat this to bring. I started to use polycrylic. It's thinner, but it doesn't matter. A little bit at a time just to enhance this color and coat this sticker paper. I don't know if you can see how it's changing, darkening the color. And I'm just putting a thin coat on. I just have a soft brush. And just back and forth strokes. Got one little piece. I don't know if you can see how much lighter this is right here in this area. Do that little section and let this dry, which it shouldn't take long to dry. Then I'll show you what I do next, what I'm going to do next. Okay. That's good enough. Let this dry and come back and show you my next step. I mixed a little of this uh, fine glitter and it has some chunky pieces in there, just a few. And I mixed a little bit in some uh, UV resin just to give it a little bling factor, kind of, sort of. I don't know if you can see that glitter in there. And so... I let that cure and then I put another coat of UV resin on here and I'm going to use these uh, period six acrylic. Nope. Uh, are they resin rhinestones that I got from period six on, on um, Instagram and the color is Sonic. So I'm going to use some of these and put uh, a few, let me see, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Just to do this a little different and give it a little, little bling factor. I think I'm going to go around. Let's see, I'm going to put one at each number for now. have this. I'm going to take my UV light, maybe, 
No, I don't want to put any more resin on here yet. Let me see if I'm going to put some more stones on here before I use the UV light to cure it. You can work with this. It's wet still before you put the UV light on it to uh, do what you need to do before you cure it. I'm trying to think, do I want to go all the way around? I just might. Let's see how that is. Let's put one on each side again and see. that looking I'm going to continue around off camera and I'll come back and show you what I what I come up with all right I'm done I think I've done enough I just wanted to make it pretty I wanted to make it different I wanted to make it bling and shine for the Cowboys what do you think I think that's all I'm going to do I'm gonna quick set set it with this uh, UV lamp and then I'm going to sit it outside in the sun rays to uh, cure it all away. Then I'll come back and put put it all together. I think that's enough bling. I think that's enough shine to represent the Cowboys whether you like them or not. Alright, I'll be back. Set this, set it outside and get it together. It's good and cured now. Everything is set. I'm going to, I clean the mirror and I'm going to put this together. Put a battery in it. Oh, can't do that yet. I have to put the, the arms on. So I'm just going to press this. Hopefully I didn't get anything in there. Press this into the hole. Maybe I have to do one at a time. Is it on there? Maybe. Let me take it off and do one at a time. Okay, there we go. Now, let's flip it over and line up these holes and put the screws in. the double A. See if it works. Oh, and it's ticking away. Let's set the time. It's 854, 754. There we go. Voila. I am done. And I forgot to tell you that I painted the inside of the clock 
the wall of the clock inside uh, a metallic blue. But it is gorgeous. So pretty. Represent, cowboys, represent. Give me a thumbs up, please. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And uh, talk to you soon. Now I've got to work on, I believe, the Steelers, the Eagles, and then some home teams, college teams. I'm going to do Eastern Michigan, U of M, and Michigan State. See you soon. Peace and love. And I'm out. As always, I thank you for your time. I thank you for stopping by and much appreciation for your support. Click the notification bell for intriguing content. Thank you.